Good morning, good morning. How is everyone? How are you on this Monday? I want to bring a story to you on Noah Robinson. And, and some of you may know who he is, or many of you may know who he is, and some of us, <clears throat> excuse me, of you may not know who he is. Well, Noah Robinson is Jesse Jackson's half brother, and he was released from prison after serving nearly 33 years. 33 years. Now, Noah Robinson was a millionaire businessman, businessman at the time of his conviction, uh, and, and he uh, was convicted of ordering a hit on a childhood pal, and he was granted, it's called the compassionate release. And I've seen that uh, with another article that I did, a uh, video where, not an article, excuse me, but another video I did where they are granting compassionate release for like uh, age, um, illnesses, and also uh, when they're not a, uh, no longer a threat to society. And so he was granted the passionate release and freed from prison. He is 80 years of age now. And so prosecutors had argued against mercy for Nora Robinson. They argued against mercy. And you know, God gives us mercy, right? And he allows mercy because God is a merciful God. And when you have people that argue against mercy, you know, blatantly argue against it, I wonder if they ever get caught up in a situation, will they need mercy? And the reason why I say this is because after 33 years and the man is 80 years of age, there is something called compassionate release. And, and the, the judicial board, you know, um, they can decide, you know, if a person should be released or not, right? This is part of our judicial system, right? And it's part of, you know, the Constitution. Constitution, too, right, is when, you know, Constitution, when uh, they can argue, you know, up, a, you know, the parole board but this was the uh they were he was released under the compassion release and so um you had these prosecutors arguing against the mercy for Nora robinson because again he was a millionaire businessman at the time of his conviction but a federal judge cited his ill health in commuting his life sentence to time served so they're giving him time served and he was convicted of brutal crimes but he's 80 years old now and has now been in custody for almost 33 years, right? Judge Rebecca Paul Meyer wrote, and she said, this is a significant period for the purposes of punishment and general deterrence. So uh, they feel that he served enough time and that he's no longer a threat, you know, or a danger or harm to society. So they have now released him. So um, with that being said, please leave your comments below. You know, give the thumbs up for the video. Become a subscriber to the channel if you're not a subscriber. And don't forget to share the video. And if you want to support the channel, you're more than welcome to do so. The information is in the description box, you know, and I will be bringing, you know, uh, more content as we go. You know, whether you like social issues that I talk about uh, from a biblical perspective uh, or whether you like the word of God, you know, and inspirational messages, whatever you like, whatever it is, and even educational videos that can help us live a more healthy lifestyle and things like that. So those are the topics that I bring to you. It's not uh, limited in the things that we talk about, but God is good. You know, as far as that is concerned, I thank God each and every day. And I thank God for each and every one of you. And again, thank you to all my subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I'm, uh, I, I'm thanking you for helping my channel to grow. And uh, if you have anything that you want me to have me to talk about, any topics, please leave your respectful comments below. Always be respectful in the comments and always be, uh, you know, uh, respectful towards one another. God bless you all on today. Peace out.